Hey, what's going on everyone? Aaron here at Kite Paddle Surf and today we are putting together some surfboards. They're gonna go on a car that does not have a roof rack. So we get this question asked a lot. If I wanna buy surfboards but I don't wanna buy the whole entire rack system, what can I do? This is the answer to that problem. It is a catch surf soft rack single pad and you can hold up to three boards. Uh, we're just gonna be putting two boards on top of the car. So we're gonna start by installing this. Uh, I'm putting two boards on top. We got an Odyssey log. Link will be in the description below on this board. And then we have a Torque Mod Fish that we also have at the shop. So let's get these boards on this car so they can get on their trip back to the waves. Here we go. Okay, so starting off here, get everything all pulled out all the straps okay so this is how it works so obviously the catch surf logo will lay like this on top of the car this will be the top side this will be underneath we have a set of straps on the underneath side and these are going to go through the car with the doors open and we'll have one through the back set of doors and one through the front set of doors and then these will be your top straps that will connect to the surfboard okay all right so let's get this one installed so, we're just going to lay it on top right here. Okay, we're going to throw the strap across. Like this. And then this one's going to go underneath there. Okay. I'm going to reach underneath and grab the other one. It's going to repeat the process for the front strap. So we're going to open up the doors. And try to line it up. We're going to go from the bottom of the strap right here and then out. There we go. Now we're going to pull this tight. This, and you can open this little cleat right here and tighten it up. So now we can open these up and then we're going to slide the boards on top. Typically with uh, surfboard stacking, we always put the longer board on the bottom first. And it's always nice to put the fins first because if you do have the fins, if the straps were to come loose, the board would slide back and the fins would catch the straps. We don't want to have that happen, but that's typically why we put the tail of the board in first. You can see your fits right there. Want it pretty um, evenly distributed front to back. Don't have it going too far forward or too far back. So there we go, there's that one. I also on this board remove the fins. So then when I stack the boards, they're gonna stack evenly on top of each other. If I were to have kept the fins on there, then I would have to be like this which is kind of a little bit off. It's doable for a short distance, but they're going for a long drive. So we're gonna to try to distribute um, evenly front to back on those. Okay, so let's tighten these down now. So we're just gonna throw these across. We're kind of in that um, stage where this is, would be like putting on uh, surfboards if you already had a rack. Sliding them, sliding the buckle in. Okay, and we'll tighten that up. We're almost done getting these boards ready for transport. Okay, and I'll come over there, tighten them. Okay, just a really nice firm grip. So they're nice and tight. Back. Okay. So um, there's a couple things you can do here. If it's quick fix, slide it in there, that works. Um, they're gonna be going for a long drive. So probably what I would do in a situation like this is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to go on the inside here and wrap it around. So I'll go like this and I'll wrap it around a few more times to keep it tight in here. Uh, but you can also put it in the door as well. So now that it's been installed, I'm just gonna go in here, make sure this is nice and tight and it's not gonna go anywhere. 
And I'll check this one as well. And these are both really tight. This is how you install a um, surfboard pad set. Uh, this works great if you're owning a car and you don't plan on investing in a refractor surfboards. They travel safe and um, you can remove it so you can have your standard car back when you're not using it for carrying surfboards. So we highly recommend these. These are the Catch Surf Surf Pads and uh, they're available at Kite Paddle Surf. If you have any questions, give us a call or shoot us a comment and we'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.